Hi, Tom DeSanto. I'm the producer of X-Men 1 and 2 and Transformers 1, 2, 3, soon to be 4. And uh, just down here at San Diego Comic-Con 2012, uh, awaiting the apocalypse. Are you going to the Walking Dead escape? Uh, I, you have to. It's part of, the, part of the hazing ritual down here. So uh, this is definitely where all of the dreamers uh, around the planet have come to congregate, uh, where reality needed to stop for them and they needed to make it their own. So it's been, a, it's been a good trip so far. This is your home. This is my 17th year. So... Uh, it's been good so far. You know, my first time I came was 1995. There, I think there was about 30,000 people here. And I think they're expecting 165,000. That's the number they're throwing around for the whole weekend. So uh, and it's maybe pretty an impressive. expansion next year. Yeah, I, I think they have to. I mean, it's just, uh, but it's a, it's sort of a great testament to imagination. You know, it's like the, uh, the old Einstein quote: "The only thing more important than knowledge is imagination." And uh, I think it's a great resource for humanity that is symbolized by uh, San Diego Comic-Con. Are you at Comic-Con working or are you here as a, as a fan? I am here purely as a fanboy. Uh, no projects, uh, no panels this year. Um, I've got a couple of projects shooting next year, but nothing uh, we're screening this year. What are you looking at? Uh, I really want to see uh, Man of Steel because I'm a huge, huge Superman fan. Uh, and I'm um, hoping that uh, they knock it out of the park. I also want to see The Hobbit because of Peter Jackson. And Guillermo del Toro is a friend, so uh, I've uh, all the faith in the world on him with Pacific Rim, and everything I've seen looks like it's uh, it's going to kick some butt. So uh, it's great to see him finally behind the the wheel of a a big studio franchise with uh, uh, with the uh, the resources I think to bring out his complete and crazy and uh, sort of unique imagination. What's it like going to some of the parties? I mean, you probably have a golden ticket to any party you want to. But talk about some of them. You know, it's, it's great because it, it, it's odd. You know, when you're first starting out in this industry, you really don't know anybody. But now that, uh, you know, I've been around for a little over a decade, uh, I'm seeing old friends. Like, I was at the Twilight party last night. And, um, you know, uh, Bill Condon is, uh, is an old friend since uh, Gods and Monsters. And actually, before that, even Candyman 2. So uh, it was great to see him and his partner Jack was there, uh, and just a bunch of friends. And I saw Ian McKellen the other day on the set of Mockingbird Lane, which is, which brought, which is uh, the pilot for uh, the new monster show that Brian Singer's directing and Brian Fuller has uh, uh, created. So it was just great to see, sort of uh, get a little, I get excited when I still get to go behind the curtain. So Comic-Con is full of dreams. Is it possible for anybody to make it in Hollywood these days? Yeah, I mean, look, I didn't know anybody. You know, my dad was a cop in New Jersey, and my mom worked at night at a trucking company, and I drove across the country, you know, with my best friend in my Nissan Maxima. Uh, and the first year is really hard. But, you know, if you work hard and you work smart, uh, you can make any dream you have a reality. And I've gotten to do movies I wanted to do since I was a kid, whether it was X-Men or helping relaunch Galactica, or, you know, Transformers, you know, and these were all properties I loved when I was a little kid, and it's nice to be able to, to bring them out to the world and sort of make new fans outside the fanboy universe that is the Comic-Con. What do you think is going to be the biggest trend this year out of Comic-Con? You know, I think there's a, a lot of really interesting stuff ending up on the internet. internet. Um, uh, I think that's, you know... It, it, with cameras dropping in price, you know, you can be in small town anywhere around the planet, shoot your film, edit your film, and have instant distribution on the internet. So I think that's a great way to really get your voice out there as a storyteller and to build a fan base and eventually, you know, make your way towards Hollywood if that's what you want and, and the big crazy studio films. Hey, it was great running into you. It was great running into you, Chris. And uh, happy Comic-Con. Live long. And may the force be with you.